Jujutsu Kaisen is one of the most exciting shows of the current anime season. It has a lot of manga fans who followed it since its 2018 debut in Shonen Jump, and their excitement has been rubbing off on the rest of us who are being introduced to this story of curses for the first time. Here's 5 things you need to know about Jujutsu Kaisen. There was a time where the future of Shonen Jump didn't look too bright. For author Akutabi Gege, the end of Naruto and Bleach heading to a conclusion made him uneasy about the future of the magazine, and he was wondering whether it was possible to get that energy back. And then My Hero Academia arrived, and he was immediately given hope. So much hope that he went ahead and created a proposal for a new series with the goal of having just as much dynamic energy as My Hair Academia had. Taking inspiration from past jump legends like Naruto, Bleach and Yu Yu Hakusho, he writes Jujutsu Kaisen with the hope of keeping Shonen Jump magazine exciting. The manga may have been inspired by My Hero Academia, but the original concept of it didn't involve a school. Akutami's original pitch was considered too dark for Jump, and so his editor suggested making the story at least start out with a school setting. It wasn't something he wanted to do, but he went ahead with the change to get the story published. But although he didn't like the change, it gave him more of an opportunity to focus on character writing instead of just the plot. In general, he regards his experience rewriting the story as an educational one. Akutami is a Jump super fan, but one thing he doesn't like is nice protagonists. In fact, he just finds them annoying, and this inspired him to create a very different kind of protagonist for Jujutsu Kaisen. For him, it's important to have characters that aren't inherently right or wrong, and are flawed in some way, just like people are in real life. And his protagonist, Yuji, was written to be a normal guy. In fact, the normal guy he was based on was Akutami's brother, who, unlike him, was successful in everything he did, whether that be sports or studies. The anime adaptation for this has been highly anticipated for a while, but things got more exciting when it was announced that Sung Ho Park would be serving as director. A talented animator in his own right, he's proved himself as a director on both the Garu Vanishing Line film and most recently, the God of High School series. But unlike those, he notes that Jujutsu Kaisen is the first time in his 17 years of working in the anime industry that his daughters were fans of what he was working on. When we talk about anime openings and endings, we often veer off to talk about the opening, and Jujutsu Kaisen has a stellar one, directed by Pokemon Twilight Wings director Shingo Yamashita. But what's also special is its ending sequence, where the roughly coloured main characters dance through a door. This was directed by Masatsugu Nagasawa, a popular music video director, and animated entirely by star animator Yuki Igarashi, based on recording the choreography of professional dancers. However, this wasn't Igarashi's first time animating an ending sequence by himself, and it wasn't even his first time animating a dance sequence. He did the same on Dragon Pilot's fun ending sequence. He's definitely someone to look out for in the future. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.